Here's a GRE arithmetic question. Let's take a look. Of the following, which is closest to the value of the cube root of 59? Now you might look at this and say, easy, I'll just use my calculator. But not so fast, because remember on the GRE, you get a scientific calculator, not one with a uh, cube root function. So we got to do this some other way. And the way to do this, I would recommend, is to use these answers that the test maker has put conveniently in front of you and use them to back solve. Let me show you what I mean. Take three, for instance. What is three times three times three? Well, it's 27. And that means that the cube root of 27 is three. So three is the cube root of 27. Four times four times four is 64. That means that the cube root of 64 is four, right? And five times five times five, we could keep going here, is 125. But the minute we do this, right, cube root of 125, we see that the cube root of 64 is very close to the cube root of 59. Definitely closer than the cube root of 27 or the cube root of 125. And so for that reason, we know that B is the correct answer here. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my live online course, follow the link on my profile.